About the drones that you mentioned, I think the drones is certainly a very sensitive issue in Pakistan, as it is around the world. And I think it is also becoming an issue in the, even in the United States of America. But uh, see, the, apart from the um, uh, moral and legal issues, there are also issues related to human rights and also the uh, sovereignty question of a country. Uh, this, our experience has been that this has certainly been counterproductive to our own efforts against, uh, against terrorism because you, we need to understand that when we carry out operations, and in the last three weeks we have been able to kill more than 500 of these militants in uh, Waziristan, there is, we enjoy the support of the entire tribal region. We have the one million refugee IDPs who have come to the settled areas. They have nothing but words of praises. And also the entire Pakistani uh, nation is behind these operations. And, and yet when a drone strike hits nearby, one of your colleagues complained about it. And we need to understand that when the drones were suspended for six months, that uh, helped uh, improve the U.S. ranking in the eyes of Pakistani public by 13 points. You know, one of the, you know, apart from the fact that the government also uh, engaged in a positive narrative about uh, the U.S. Uh, help that it extended in various areas, counted, uh, developing our capacity, developing in the energy sector and economic development, but also I think the, uh, the suspension of drones also had a, had, a, had a significant contribution in improving that. So, so Jeff, I, I know you're allergic to the word drone. But um, when we're talking about, could you refer to, might there be a, a future suspension of U.S. counterterrorism operations in the Fatah, the Pakistani tribal region? Well, again, I, I, I can't comment and I can't uh, forecast. But I, I, could, I can try to make you. I, uh, you can, uh, <laughs> which, which will only take time from uh, the audience being able to ask questions of the panel, uh, <laughs> which is an opportunity I don't think anyone wants to miss. Um, Switching that now. Spoken like a true seal. I, <laughs> I, I, I do think it's difficult I, to forecast. I think what we agree has to be the end state is addressal of the militant threat um, and, and elimination of al-Qaeda senior leadership and, and disruption of the threat to us all. I mean, because we have a common threat and we have a common interest in, in, in regards to taking on this militant problem.